little bit. That's that fire sky that we've gotten really used to, unfortunately. Uh, the, the, the smoke did thin a little bit today. I saw blue sky. I know I did. I looked straight up. Still very white for the most part, but I did see a little bit of blueness out there. So that's the good news that we are slowly but surely trying to work our way toward a, a different sky, which is going to take some time. 60s along the beaches, a little bit warmer though in Gaviota. The next few nights we could see a little uh, northerly flow in that little particular part of the world where I sound like a broken record. It always warms it up a little bit. That's our little warm offshore microclimate when we have a very steady and a mild onshore wind. Uh, not really expecting any advisories, but there's always that chance you might get a little uh, breeze above 20 miles an hour. Of course, it always uh, dries you out a little bit. Everybody else, though, moist along the beaches. Inland areas, of course, still very dry this time of year. Uh, the fog will likely grace our region one more time as we head into the late night and the overnight hours. Going to go ahead and hold on to the haze. This area of high pressure is going to weaken just a little bit. It's going to allow that above normal stuff that we're seeing for our friends up in Oregon and Northern California to become more normal and even maybe go a little below normal as the storm system pushes in for us. It'll just thicken up the marine layer. Smoke is expected to kind of remain but it should thin out a little bit over the next several days as we're going to see more of a stronger onshore flow pushing it to the east and not necessarily down on top of us like we've seen so much the last several days. And as we look to our south, well, we're going to jump into the tropical game. We got Karina here. Uh, when I first saw that, I thought Katrina, and I was like, no, 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 that's an, uh, a categorized storm. Now that's in the, uh, the record books, but as we head over the, uh, the isthmus and jump into the Gulf, of course, we're watching very closely Sally, and unfortunately, Unfortunately, Sally is going to cause some problems for the Gulf. Paulette, Renee, and there's even something coming beyond that. We'll go ahead and focus on Sally for now, which, of course, already beginning to affect much of the, uh, the western portions of Florida, taking aim at the panhandle. And then as we go ahead and we look a little tighter with our fan right here, this is where it gets uh, a little bit of a concern. Category 1 storm. And then right as it button hooks so just a little bit into uh, New Orleans, could increase to a Category 2 and then rapidly decrease. But really the big threat here will be a lot of rain over the next several days for much of this region. And then as you can see right there, that's that hook because of the westerly winds pulling it back out toward the Atlantic Ocean. So a lot of states will be affected by a lot of rain. There's our fog for the overnight into the next couple of mornings. Uh, looks very similar to what we've seen the last several days as we pull away. The good news is we're seeing a chance of rain for the Pacific Northwest. Not much of this will get farther south than maybe extreme northern California, but at least the, the uh, Pacific Ocean is trying to help out just a little bit with an onshore flow and maybe some much, much needed light rainfall. And there are your high temperatures for both Monday and as we snap forward uh, 24 hours to Tuesday, we'll see perhaps a little bit of warming here and there. Otherwise, it should be just sort of a carbon copy of what we've seen from uh, Sunday to Monday to Tuesday, which is uh, good news because it's fairly quiet. As far as smoke, well, you can look at the, uh, the chart right here and you can see that we stay fairly mild mild and even on the light end of things as I bring it back into our region. A little bit of heavy smoke at times farther east, but for the most part we're doing pretty good. And as far as uh, unhealthful air, it looks like it will be limited to Morro Bay because of the proximity to the Dolan Fire, which is up in Big Sur. Otherwise, everybody else will be moderate to uh, mildly unhealthful for those people that are sensitive. So hopefully less smoke. That's our big fingers crossed across the region. Uh, 80s and 90s inland, so not overly warm. 60s and 70s by the beaches. And again, really focusing on the fact that we're trying to thin that smoke out and get it out of here as much as we can because it really has been a little bit, um, a little bit of a concern, obviously, for, the, for breathing and as well it's been really making the sky seem very ominous. Uh, surf is a little small, but we do expect to see a steady stream of at least small stuff over the next several days. Nothing too dramatic expected. Quick look at our forecast maps for Santa Barbara. Watch the winds here and there, otherwise marine there. A little bit of haze, obviously, hopefully thinning out that smoke as we get ready to send it to break. I'll just do a couple of quick little maps right here. Really not any big shocks to the system. Just a nice forecast as we head headlong into the middle of September. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.